Welcome to a walkthrough of these dashboards on the measurement of sexual and reproductive health and rights, gender equality, and women's empowerment in humanitarian settings. These interactive dashboards were developed with data collected from two scoping reviews and were informed by feedback from partner organizations. The dashboards serve as an inventory of measurement methods, tools, and indicators to help standardize and simplify the selection of indicators and identify measurement gaps for data collection. Along the top is the menu of all the dashboards. The first dashboard is the project overview. This page provides summary statistics, a clickable menu to go to the other dashboards, and an overview map. The eye icon provides instructions on using the map. The overview map can be filtered by topic, by country, by humanitarian setting, and by study design. Hovering over a country on the map provides more details. The next dashboard is a list of measurement toolkits and surveys. The eye icon provides instructions. The tools can be filtered by topic, by country the tool was used in, by humanitarian setting, by data level, by measurement method, and by recommended sampling methods from the tool. Clicking the tool name provides a web link to the tool source and sorts the map. Hovering over the X's provides more details on each of the tools. Clicking on the map sorts the tools by country. And you can click again to deselect. A similar dashboard for skills and checklists was created and can be found here. The next dashboard shows all of the indicator types and subtypes found in the sexual and reproductive health and rights scoping review. The dashboard can be filtered by measurement tools or by clicking on a domain on the wheel. Clicking on an indicator type will show a drop down of subtypes with the more details found in the description boxes and the number of study indicators found on the right. You can click again to deselect. A similar dashboard for gender equality and women's empowerment can be found here. The next dashboard shows the sexual and reproductive health and rights indicators and their associated standard indicators. Clicking on the top bar will sort the standard indicators by continuum of care. Clicking on the standard indicators will show a drop down of associated indicator subtypes with details from the scoping reviews in the description boxes. The count of study indicators are shown on the right. And you can click again to deselect. The standard indicators can be filtered by probability sampling method. On the right, there is a dot graph of the measurement tools used in the included studies that are associated with each standard indicator. Hovering over the dots provides more details on the number and names of the tools used. Clicking on a dot will sort the dashboard by each standard indicator and you can click again to deselect. The measurement gaps for sexual and reproductive health and rights are shown in this dashboard. They are organized by representation across studies, countries, and toolkits, and by the standard indicators if they exist. The measurement gaps can also be filtered by domain. A similar dashboard for gender equality and women's empowerment can be found here. A full list of all study indicators collected is available in the second to last dashboard. The indicators can be sorted by the filters found here. Lastly, there's a list of all included studies from which the data was collected. The references can be sorted by the filters found here. And clicking on the title of the publication will provide a web link to those publication source. Thank you for watching this video.